and racing in the Wednesday opener. Breaking for the lead on the outside. There goes Commodore Barry with Shake It Up Larry. Down towards the inside, moving up to third comes Fielder. Then Olds 442 at the back. The early trailer is Jen Song. They continue down the back side, up the inside. Fielder and Pablo Morales stick to head in front and get away by three parts of a length over Shake It Up Larry. Racing in third comes Old 442. Then on the outside, revving up, Jen Song set down for a bid, moving outside of Commodore Barry. Around that turn they go after a quarter mile of 23 and one fifth second. Half length lead for Fielder. Shake it up, Larry, right there on the outside, coming after the leader. Back in third is Old 442. And Jen Song now gaining rhythm on the outside from fourth. We'll look to Take down the top three. Right now, Fielder and Shake It Up Larry noses apart at the top of the stretch. Back racing in third. Here comes Jen Song. Willie Martinez down the center. Up the rail. Commodore Barry in with a chance. Fielder's got something left and hanging on. Back in second is still Shake It Up Larry. Between horses comes Commodore Barry. On the far outside, Jen Song is full of run. And her class will show today as Jen Song gets up to get the win over Olds 442. It's tight for the rest between Fielder Shake it up, Larry and Commodore Barry. And they're off, off slowly with sign and sealed. Breaking on top is going to be Elsa's Rocket. Flying up the inside, Elegant Taste now takes over. Four wide on the outside. Scoop, there it is, moving up with the pack as well. Right now it is Elegant Taste on the lead by about a length and a half. Outside, here comes Scoop. There it is. Lightning Round is third towards the inside. Then comes Elsa's Rocket, followed by Jeff's Angel. And after that tardy start, Sign and Seal can see them all. The quarter mile comes up here, and it is 25 flat. The leader by a length and a half is still Elegant Taste. Sitting in second, Scoop. There it is on the outside. Racing up into third on the outside. Here comes Elisa's Rocket now gaining momentum. Then towards the inside, lightning round, followed by Jeff's Angel. And at the back is Sign and Seal. It's still elegant taste. Amelia Flores trying to wire this field. They approach the half mile here in a time of 49 and 2 fifth seconds. Elegant taste still with that lead. Inching closer on the outside. Scoop, there it is. And Elsa's Rocket on the outside as well. From the back of the pack. Sign and Seal is gaining momentum and coming quickly. He's going to pass the other two at the back, and they are going to be lightning round and oh, lightning round and uh, Jeff's Angel. Top of the stretch, still on the lead. Elegant Taste, the one to catch on the outside. Here comes Sign and Seal down the center, putting in a big bid in between horses. That is going to be Scoop. There it is. Down along the rail looking for room is lightning round. It's still Elegant Taste with the lead on the outside. Here comes Sign and Seal inside. Lightning round is still there. Elegant Taste is going to taste victory today. Gate the wire practically. Lightning round in a photo with Sign and Seal for second. Back in fourth was Jeff's Angel. And they're a fan racing. On the outside, there goes Mach 10, hair on fire, breaking for the lead. Rushing up in the second, Golden Sun drops. Queen of Chill is down along the inside third, and at the back is Proper Manners racing fourth. Right now it is Mach 10, hair on fire. Ronald Allen Jr. taking off on the lead. He's out there by a length and a half, two. In second, Queen of Chill, then Golden Sun drops, followed by Proper Manners. The quarter mile one in 22 and two fifth seconds, and the battle up front now getting closer. On the inside is Mach 10, hair on fire, right there on the outside. Queen of Chill bearing down on the leader. Back racing third, Golden Sun drops, trying to catch up to the top pair, and Proper Manners getting a ground saving trip down along the rail. It's still Mach 10, hair on fire. Ronald Allen Jr. trying to hold him off. In second, Queen of Chill. Down on the rail comes Proper Manners. And on the far outside, Golden Sundrop trying to put in a late bid. They dash for home. Mach 10, hair on fire with the lead between horses. Queen of Chill is there. Outside, Golden Sundrop's now coming up after the leader as they head to the wire. Golden Sundrop's going to get the victory here. Hanging on for second is Queen of Chill. Photo finish for the show dough between Mach 10 Hair on Fire and Proper Manners. And they're off and racing in the fourth. 
Shama tries to lead along with Leonard's legacy out there on the outside. Moving up further out comes Red Hurricane. Then back in the fourth position early is Gray Charmer. Then there's a gap of another two lengths on the outside. To He's a good dancer and Beach Holiday is at the back. As they race down the backside, the pace setter is Leonard's legacy. Mike Allen out there with a two-length advantage. Sitting in second is Red Hurricane after a quarter mile of 22 and three-fifth seconds. Leonard's legacy continues to show the way out there by two lengths. Red Hurricane sitting close up today in second. Back in third is going to be Shama. And another two lengths to Gray Charmer. Then comes Beach Holiday at the back with Lightning Charlie. They head around the turn and approach the half mile. The pace setter remains on the lead. Leonard's legacy, Red Hurricane, looking to run that one down. Back racing third comes Shama, then Gray Charmer on the far outside. And from the back of the pack comes Beach Holiday, and he's a good dancer. Deep stretch, Leonard's legacy with that lead. On the outside, here comes Gray Charmer. Gray Charmer gaining with every stride. will get the victory here with Antonio Guiardo. It's very tight for second. Might have been he's a good dancer out finishing Leonard's legacy. And they're off and racing here in the fifth. On the inside, face down, breaks to the lead with Gotts got it there on the outside. Those two stride for stride. Classic Richie moves up to take the third spot and is gaining on the top pair. Another three, four lengths back to ramming speed. Then down along the inside, looking to move up is going to be Grumpy Brooksy. Empty my pouch is on the move on the outside. And then at the back, a bit of captain can see them all. They went the opening quarter in 22 and four fifth seconds. And there's a three of them across the track as they head to the top of the stretch. And it is Gotts got Got it. Aaron Walker taken off on the lead. Down on the inside. Face down. Trying to battle back. Down the center of the track. Here comes ramming speed along with classic Richie. But Gotts got it. Has got it in the bank here today. Coasting home from there. Back in second is ramming speed. Settling for third. Classic Richie. And face down. Rounds off the super. Unofficial winning time was 51 and 3. in the sixth. Down on the inside, it's Night Ride going for the lead. Right alongside Gemini Moon and Camino de Santiago are there. From the far outside, America's Guest moves up with Worlds on High and cutting over from the back to the rail. That is Savvy en Blanc. Around the turn they go, it's going to be Night Ride and Pablo Morales holding an advantage. Right there on the outside, Gemini Moon just a neck back and coming after the lead. There's a gap of two and a half back to Camino de Santiago. Then comes America's Guest racing in fourth and now taking over in third. Now the two lengths back to Worlds on High. Then comes Savion Blanc at the back of that tightly bunched group who continues out the backside after a quarter of 24 and four fifth seconds. Gemini Moon, Aaron Walker on that lead by a length and a half now with America's Guest sitting in second down on the rail third. Night Ride in with a chance. Outside fourth comes Camino de Santiago. And then at the back are Savion Blanc and Worlds on high. As they head to the half, 49 and 4 fifths seconds, it's still Gemini Moon. Aaron Walker looking to pull an upset here at 21 to 1, has the lead on the turn. Moving up into second between horses is America's Guest. Worlds on high has come alive from the back of the pack, is all the way up in third and challenging for the win. Then on the inside, Night Ride followed by Camino de Santiago. Off the turn, Gemini Moon trying to wire the field between horses, America's guests. Worlds on high now moving on the outside. Four wide, Night Ride is full of running, coming strong. There's four them across the track. Night Ride and Pablo Morales coming after Worlds on high. Inside, America's guest is still right there at the wire. Night Ride gets the winning ride with Pablo. Worlds on high, second best, and America's guest was third. There in the gate, and away they go. Outside, Novigian Spirit tries to lead along with the Starship Macy's, who now takes over. Up the rail comes Lady Lana into third. In between horses, that is, make, make no mistakes, up the rail, Richie's Noble Girl, caught wide of that group on the far outside, is going to be Bourbon Blast, and Midnight Pirate is at the back of the pack. They race around the turn, and out there winging it on the lead, Starship Macy's Eddie Dominguez has the advantage, a good two links now, over to Lady Lana. Back third towards the inside, Noble's Richie Girl, matching strides with the Vigian Spirit to the outside. Then we drop back into the two and a half, three to make no mistakes. And at the back on the outside, Bourbon Blast, Midnight Pirate can still see them all. The 
quarter, one and 25 and two fifth seconds. And on the lead, it is Starship Macy's holding the advantage and opening up by four down the backside. In second is Lady Lana still right there. Going to get some pressure now from Richie's Noble Girl who's moved up in third. Back in fourth is Novesian Spirit. Then comes Make No Mistakes. And the trailers remain Bourbon Blast and Midnight Pirate. The half mile was 49 and one fifth second, and the leader remains Starship Macy's out there with a seven length advantage. Now moving to second is Richie's Noble Girl. Antonio Giardo's got that one moving and trying to make up some ground. Right behind him towards the inside, that is going to be Lady Lana. Midnight Pirate coming from the back of the pack as well. It's still Starship Macy with the lead, but companies are coming. And down the center, Noble's Richie's Girl got this one timed and is coming after Starship Macy's. It's one of these two as they head for the wire. Richie's noble girl, Antonio Giardo, up in time. They get the win at 5-2. to two. Starship Macy, second best. Lady Lana, third. And rounding off the super, Navigian Spirit. Winning time, 143 flat. And they're off in the eighth. Down on the inside, Lord of Legends will vie for the early advantage, rushing up into second. That is going to be Leave It Alone Larry. Then comes Fox Rock, sitting third to the outside. Also between horses, Explosive Humor moves through with Leave It Alone Larry. Another length of the half back outside to Papa Jimmy. Then comes the favorite Spicy Shot. And at the back of the pack are going to be Boom and Goose and Extra Medium. They head towards the quarter in 23 flat. And the pace setter remains Lord of Legends, Angel Stanley on the front end and trying to steal this one. Sitting in second is Explosive Humor right there with the leader. On the far outside comes Fox Rocks now up to be third between horses fourth towards the inside. That is going to be another breeze. Half mile coming up here, and it is Lord of Legends setting the pace. He's got it by just about a half a length. Alongside second is going to be Fox Rocks, and down the center of the track coming late, here comes a bid from Extra Medium, who was last earlier. He's coming after the lead. Extra Medium up to take the lead. Spicy Shot needs racing room on the inside. Digging in is Lord of Legends trying to hold him off. On the far outside, late bid from Boom and Goose. Up the rail, another breeze, but it's Extra Medium getting the win over Lord of Legends. Tight for the rest between Boom and Goose. 